I'm going to be showing you how to dye your beard using the Just For Men's Beard and Mustache Dye without staining your face. So the first time I uh, dyed my hair, I successfully dyed my hair. But I also actually dyed my face pretty good. And uh, that's definitely something you're going to want to avoid. And so the Just For Men uh, Mustache and Beard Pack, it comes with the two different mixture um, like a combination stuff that you have to mix together to stain. You're going to want to pre-mix a little bit and test a small area on your skin like it says just to make sure you don't have any kind of bad reaction and stuff. So right off the bat you're going to want to take the two tubes and you're going to want to mix your uh, dye mixture solution in the little tray they give you. Give that a little bit of a second to uh, mix. Now, just to point out, I have a shirt that unbuttons that I can take off easy that I also wasn't avoid, like worried about dying. And so I would suggest making sure that you're either in something you're comfortable with accidentally dying or um, making sure you have something that you can get off easily or just don't wear something while you're dying your hair. In order to avoid staining my skin, on the tips of your ears or anywhere you think that you could stain on accident, even on your lips, you can actually just take petroleum jelly. And uh, the first time I dyed my hair, I actually didn't know about this. Ended up staining myself pretty good. People actually told me, hey, you should avoid staining yourself. I'm going to look in the actual mirror. Um, because basically people will give you feedback when you post something on social media. And it was good because they actually also told me how to avoid staining my face. And that was actually kind of a nice thing to learn how to avoid, right? Because like you want to stain your hair and you want to look better. You definitely don't look better with uh, stained hair everywhere. And so I'm going to go ahead and go through here. Anywhere you get, it will actually prevent it from uh, dying. So you want to be careful getting it on your skin. I mean, not on your skin, but on your hair hair that you're trying to dye. Because if you do get it there, you'll have to touch up stuff, okay? Um, not a big deal to have to touch up some stuff, but you would have to do that. So at this point, I'm literally just going to do as it says. And I'm going to probably throw a glove on real quick so I can work it in a little bit. They give you these fancy little gloves. So I'm going to take one of the gloves on and I'm going to grab their little brush and I'm going to begin working it in. I'm going to want to work this pretty deep in. Now all this area up here, I'm going to touch up with the razor anyway. And so we're not that worried about it. But as you can tell, you just basically work this in as much as you can. Um, you also use the glove to work it in. You'll get a better result, to be honest. And so, okay, so at this point, I'm just going to work this in with the glove. We'll find out, of course, if I missed any spots with the uh, stop. Okay, and from here, we're just going to wait five minutes and uh, then jump in and rinse it off in the shower. After five minutes, I think you can clearly tell it's darker. I'm going to go jump and rinse this off and we'll see how it turned out. After a quick rinse, I've got a nicely dyed beard and I have no stains on my face. And so I do hope that helps you out. Peace and very best wishes.